That was, of course, Luke Langman with You Say. Here on your radio station, AM 930, The Light Edmonton's Positive Talk. Well, it's time for us to go to prayer. So whether your need is physical, spiritual, emotional, intellectual, financial, or family, I want you to know today, according to Daniel 9.23 and Daniel 10.12, that the answer is already on the way. Now, Lord, today we know many people are dealing with food insecurity and rent and so many other factors that are going on in their lives. And even in the summertime, when these things may be a little bit less expensive, we still need your provision. So, Lord, today, thank you that you are Jehovah Jireh, our provider. That means that, Lord, you're going to supply every need according to your riches of glory. That's what Paul reminds us in Philippians chapter 4. So, Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, we receive your provision. As well, Lord, today, you are our physician and our healer. We are bringing before you, Lord, our own needs of healing, or family, or friends, or individuals that you will bring across our path today. Thank you for the promise of Isaiah 53, verse number 5, that says, You were wounded for our transgressions. You were bruised for our iniquity, the chastisement or the punishment that brings us peace, and by your stripes we're healed. So Lord, right now, whether we find ourselves at home or in hospital, no matter what we're dealing with today, Lord, thank you for your healing touch. And thank you that, Lord, this is the moment that we're going to receive it. As well, Lord, today, we're praying for people who are traveling. We ask that, Lord, your journey mercies would be with each one. And we also pray today for our professional drivers in whatever capacity they are working today. Father, give them journey mercies and protect them. We're grateful for our professional drivers. They're the ones that provide us with goods and services, and so we're grateful for them today. As well, Lord, we're going to pray today for our first responders. Thank you, Lord. In whatever capacity they would be uh, today, Lord, we're grateful for their skill. We're grateful, Lord, for their compassion and their willingness, Lord, to put themselves in harm's way on behalf of ourselves. And we thank you, Lord, for this. There's one more promise of course, that we want to pray for today, Lord, and that is the promise of Acts 16.31 that says, not only are we going to be saved, but our household as well. Thank you for that divine intervention in the lives of our family and friends today. And Lord, for those wayward ones, Lord, our prodigals today, we ask that, Lord, right now, that they would have an aha moment. As we learn in the book of Luke, the prodigal son had a moment where he said, what am I doing here? Well, Lord, we pray for them today, that, Lord, they would have that moment where they would come to themselves and come back to you. And we thank you, Lord, for that wonderful promise today in Jesus' name. Oh, one more thing, Lord. Would you order our steps today? Psalm 37, 23 does say that the steps of a good person are ordered by the Lord. So we ask that you would do that today. And we thank you, Lord, for all of these things. In your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. Well, I